everybody, it's Jasmine, and today I have a homemade mukbang over here, and then we've got some other stuff over here. So I cooked up some pumpkin, onions, and put a lot of uh, peri-peri powder on it, and then I've got this naan bread, which isn't homemade either. So this is a lie. Take a look at that. I put some satsiki. Do they call it satsiki sauce, or do you just say, I don't know. Anyway, so, look at that. That's a piece of work. I was sort of going to eat it like this, like a little rapidy doodah day. Oh. It's going to get messy. Mmm. The pumpkin is so good. I make a mean pumpkin. Pumpkin's really difficult to cook because it has to cook for so long. So, if you don't get the timing right, then you could end up having to serve undercooked pumpkin just because you've ended up cooking everything else. Mmm. And the onions make it a little bit sweet. And the sauce is great. might not be so good if um, there wasn't a bit of spiciness to the pumpkin because then it might have just been like super bland but it sort of gives the sauce a little bit of a reason to cut through the spice The celery is from my work, this is from my work, the snan bread's from my, everything's from my work actually. I got the pumpkin and the onion from work. Go oh, me. I gotta tell you guys, I'm actually really annoyed today. This morning at like 6.30, my neighbour's alarm went off. Like, not my house neighbour, but like, we're in a set of flats that are all attached. And he left it running for seriously like half an hour. At like, definitely at least 10 minutes. Um, I, I could almost say, almost definitely 20 minutes. So I'm, I'm reckoning that. Oh man. And it was the same sound that my alarm makes so I was like what's going on like why is it so quiet and then I got up because I was like is that my brother's alarm like Joshua turn it off you know I mean I didn't say that but I got up out of bed to to check so it went on for like half an hour couldn't fall back asleep during that time so now it's like seven o'clock and when I'm not working, I always set my alarm to 8.30 or 9 o'clock. Just to make sure I can get up and enjoy my day. But then when my alarm went off, I think I was just so confused. Because I'd already woken up. Um, that I just turned it off and went back to sleep. And then I woke up at 10 o'clock and I was like, Are you serious? I lost an hour to my day. Now obviously that's my fault that I turned my alarm off, but I've never done that, um, like in such a trance before, so, uh. Mm. 
the other thing about our neighbours, at 12, 30, 1 o'clock, she's busy laughing over there. Like, and uh, it permeates through the walls. I think that's the right word. It's so, uh, oh, and then you, you can't sleep. It's just terrible. So with my spare money this week, I ended up buying two bottles of chewing gum because they come in like a bottle-like container. But the thing is like, I was going to buy those earlier this week, I was thinking about buying those because I was like, I don't want to be eating closer to bedtime, bedtime, so if I chew gum, then that'll be a substitute. But then a couple of, well, yesterday and the day before, I was thinking about that if I'm hungry before bedtime, then I should just eat something. Because if I'm hungry, I probably need the food. So then after work, I guess I sort of forgot that I had thought that. So then I bought the chewing gum. And as I was buying it, I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> This is sort of going against my, my new plan. <laughs> but it's alright because I do like mm, to chew gum. And it might... be alright. Especially if I eat closer to bed. And then I can chew the gum to help get rid of the like the food acids and then I can brush my teeth. So it probably hasn't derailed my plan. I just gotta make sure I don't chew the gum instead of eating food. Like last night, I was super hungry before bed. I just don't understand why. Although, I, but I do have a theory. But it's difficult to prove your theories. So you just, sometimes you just gotta make a move.
can't believe how good that pumpkin is. Thinking of doing like a pumpkin chicken pasta maybe on Monday. It means I have to buy pasta sauce. But I think I'll go down to the supermarket and do that anyway just because it's really sunny outside. It's only 8 degrees and it's only going to be 8 degrees today. But once you're in the sun it should be quite nice. I ordered a new passport and I took my own photo which I sort of not really recommend that you do but I have like a, a good camera or at least a decent camera not this video camera but a photography camera so I took the photo sent it off really wasn't sure if it worked would work because I thought that I had quite a bit of light on one side of my face and it needs to be like a diffused even light but got an email yesterday saying that it was fine and um that my passport's in the mail <laughs> so that's great saves me 20 bucks and having to pay someone to take my photo really full now. Awesome, we did it. Good job, everybody. High five. That's the end of this mukbang eating show. If you guys liked it, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, then you can hit that subscribe button and then you can catch me on all my other cool videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy your day in Haydor.